Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Leah and this is my CTE Managing Business Capstone Project. If you're unfamiliar with the terms capstone project, it basically just is the final project at the end of a class. And so since this is the end of the school year, um, it is time for me to do my capstone project. So this is my capstone project. I will be creating a YouTube video that thoroughly goes through and explains my process and um, participating in my school's maker's market. So what even is the maker's market? The maker's market is a farmer's market style event where students who want to participate um, create goods and products that they want to sell. So a lot of kids, they make like candles, bookmarks, lotions, soap, brownies, you know, like dessert type of items. Um, and then they come and they sell it at this park. So for this market, I will be painting tote bags and little pencil pouches and then selling them. So um, yesterday I bought the tote bags. Uh, you can see it right here. Um, and I got a quantity of 24 for $36.99. It's usually priced at $50, but I got it 26% off. So yeah, that was really nice. And then I also got, let me find it, swear. the pencil pouches. Y'all, why is this taking me like forever? Okay, so in addition to that, I got some pencil pouches, see right here. Um, I got 34 pack for $20, so 60 cents per pouch. So I'm going to have to paint 34 of these and hopefully they'll all sell. So yeah, I'm not left with a bunch of pencil pouches. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, also, before I um, ordered all that stuff, I also wrote a little um, plan just to give me the idea like last week um, or two weeks ago. So... I have like pricing ideas, I just don't know for sure how much I want to price my items for. I'm thinking like $7 for a tote and $3 for a pencil pouch because look, people like even numbers. You know like, you'd rather buy something for $5 than for $6 because it just sounds more more like, I don't know, you know like ending on like an easy number. So if I sell for 7 the tote bags and then sell the pencil pouches for 3 look, you buy both of them for $10. People will want that. Or... I could just sell like, see then if I buy, if I sell the totes for $5, then I only get like, um, like $4 profit, not including the labor costs. So <clears throat> I'm making off like 3 to $4 per bag. And then if, if I sell them for $5, but then if I sell them for $7, I'm making a little more per bag. Because, I don't know, I'm like a perfectionist, so this is probably going to take me a very long time, so the labor costs, like, I don't want to like make it so cheap that it's not really, not fair, but like, that it's not worth it to me to make this and then sell it. So um, I need to sell them correctly. Also, my target my target audience is probably like 10 to 13 year old girls. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking girls because the girls are more like tote bags and mm, pencil pouches could be versatile. So maybe the pencil pouches with the designs, I'll make it more like uh, gender neutral, gender neutral. But for the tote bags, I think my target audience is mainly girls. And then, um, yeah, so knowing girls 10 to like 13, they don't have like a lot of money, so I can't price it like $12 per tote bag. So I'm going to keep it under 10, either 5 or $7, and then the pencil pouches are either going to be 3 to $5. Yeah. Um, that's it for my plan so far. Um, yeah, that's, that's my plan for the Maker's Market pricing. And then the Maker's Market actual date, I think it's like April, either end of April or beginning of May. So I have... Today's March 28th, so I have about like a month to paint all these. So if I do like a pencil pouch and tote bag a day, I can do it. I'll probably do more per day, so <sighs> hopefully I get it all done. It kind of sounds like a lot right now. Yeah. So I'll check in with you guys later. The goods have arrived since I ordered them yesterday. So uh, let's open them up. Oh, 
Okay, so here are the pencil pouches. I think that's a pretty good size now. And then the tote bags. Let's see how big they are. But so far, it looks okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going on Pinterest. I saved some ideas um, that I want to use as inspiration. So um, my screen should be right here. I have this little red tote. I really like this, like this little heart tote um, idea. I really like that one. A lot of hearts and flowers, like these type of flowers. Um, are really cute and then i also really like this checkered pattern like also i'm obsessed with chess right now so i like this pattern a lot and i mean if this doesn't sell out i'm gonna take this one home because it is so cute i also like the strawberries and the cherries little smiley face what else saved by grace this one is really cute i wouldn't really do this font i don't think but i like the idea of the um little like christian thing Here's like the um, checkered, but also with some like hearts and smiley faces. Here's like a little music one, flowers, more flowers. Um, yeah, and then for the pencil pouches, I just have a few ideas. Like I, um, this rainbow one was one of the main ideas on Pinterest and then like little flowers. But I think I could also just take like these kind of, um, the designs of the tote bags and then put it also on to the pencil pouches so that if people want to buy a matching set, they could, yeah. So there is my, oops, <laughs> there is my um, idea for the maker's market. Yeah. <laughs>
Hello guys, welcome to the next segment of this whole journey and that is going to be advertising. So I have talked about the market to people um, in person, but I've also put up a few polls on my Instagram like asking them if they like this design over this design to kind of get opinions, but I have not formally, formally invited anybody. So right now we will be making an invitation. And I'll bring you guys along with me um, in doing that. Okay, guys. So, after a few little difficulties, I've got my beautiful little invitation done. And I'm going to be uploading it to my Instagram. And we have it on my phone. It looks like that. Super cute. Uh, we're going to save it. Preparing my design almost done well i mean you guys can see this me but i literally don't need to show you guys the screen okay save to camera roll now i'm going to my instagram sorry if you just showed up on there and um adding to story we got this and this is what it looks like you're invited to the makers market um gives all the information and then um they can just dm me if they need more details so we're gonna put this on the story and done okay i have around like a little over 200 followers so 200 people will be invited i just invited 200 people and um yeah that's what it looks like super cute makers market friday april 20th 10 to 1 p.m. Orangeville Community Park and then with the details okay we're all good with the advertising hello guys I am at the Maker's Market right now and um so far it's been pretty good I sold um pretty good amount of my stuff and uh, we did have to lower the prices of the tote bags it started at 10 and then it went to 7 and now it's at 9 because it's less oh now it's at 5 because it's the last 30 minutes, so I wanted to uh, try to sell out. Which is not probably going to happen, but yeah. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of people here, and I bought a bracelet. And it's going pretty good, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my whole Maker's Market process. In case I left out any details, um, there is a document down below in the description. Um, which will just cover all the details of the market for extra uh, statistics and analytics. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one.